The sun was setting in the west when Papa and Wendy left. The Fairwood Festival was not far and they were quick to be wary of theft. The festival could be rough once the sun had set and the air hummed silently with the lingering threat. Wendy wound her way through the thinning crowds. She made her way to the market square where slave trade was allowed. She found the pirate's simple stall and pointed at the young man she'd seen. Papa Bog looked at him, and the pirates, he didn't seem too keen. Wendy, what do you think you're doing? I told you we can't feed him. You said whatever my heart is set on. Can't you see his situation is grim? I'll feed him with my own portion, if it comes down to that. I'll nurse him back to perfect health. Yet another brat. Wendy frowned and made to leave, but Papa's hand met her shoulder. Well, now you may take care of him. I've seen you grow somehow bolder. Wendy, you are one of my youngest ones, but your compassion knows no age. I will buy the boy for you. He will be your page. Papa then set to negotiating for the young man's release. The fact that they'd attacked his home made the talking brief. Papa Bog bought him for next to nothing, and the three of them went home. And for the first time in Wendy's admittedly short life, she felt she wasn't alone.